Hi everyone, my name is Ashish. I'm the creator of Indian Pixels. For the last 1.5 years, I have been working on this tool to allow anyone to create maps as you see on Indian Pixels. Uh, you can use these for your own research. You can use it for uh, visualizing surveys or your company data, you know, be creative. Uh, so I want to invite you to this land. Um, I will be sharing a short video of uh, what can you do with this product and yep let's dive in so right now you can join the waitlist the link will be uh, wherever this is posted and all right let's continue so the landing page is iip maps the easiest way to make data maps and you create uh, your map for that you will have to sign in and you continue with google ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. and let's sign in uh, with with this All right, so you see the home page, the landing page, uh, pretty ugly right now, but it's a work under process. Uh, so we have all the different templates uh, that you can use over here. Uh, India has the India map and the different states um, have their own templates. The ones which are regions, they will have like a box around them. So pretty like, uh, you know, work in progress state, but uh, the real stuff is, what you get when you dive in oh but now it says waitlist uh because this account did not have access so this is what you will see for uh the next few days i'll be giving you a peek of what to expect after you have gotten the access so let me log in with an account that has the access so Ta-da! This is the landing page view that you will see of the product. On the left side, we have the map view, which contains uh, the graphical representation of the data that is on the right. The right is the editor view. So it has four tabs as of now, the data tab, the styling tab, export tab, and a library tab. This is sort of like the latest addition. There were just like the original three. Uh, so treat this as a beta for now. So on the data section, you can just literally add data here so let's say bihar is 45 and something and so automatically the colors will update on the map to the left uh you can change different palettes uh over here let's randomize the data uh, let's say this is the data for number oops, number of chickens per uh, 100 people in each state okay this is totally fake just for the purpose of this video but you'll get a distribution like this um i can double click and i can customize the different elements on the left so uh this thing is too long that's a title so i'll set it a width of 400 and it'll fold uh, nicely like this and then on the styling tab let's say we want a more gradation of like a spectrum uh, so we can use the palette called bangalore it goes from red to green and uh, let's say i want this thing to be more um, you know sharp the contrast needs to be more sharp then i'll double click the legend and i can adjust at what values which colors should come so let's say i want a distinction around like below uh 40 it should be like super red so i'll drag this towards 40 and i want like above 50 it could be like dark green and i apply it and i see a pretty map is ready and immediately you can see like uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh have lower number of chickens uh compared to assam and mizoram uh obviously hypothetically and they can and you can double click and you can add a source over here and saying like my imagination my imagination or something like that and you can see the total figure now we have something called the uh on in the data tab we have something called the data summary so it gives you like the average number of chickens that india has so you can just copy it from there 49.06 So yeah, it was that easy to create uh, this. You could also export it in one click and you could have like downloaded as PNG. 
and the PNG will be ready. That also auto saves the project. So you will see it uh, down below somewhere. Uh, where is it? These are all the different maps that I have made so far. So yeah, number of chickens per 100 people in each state. So you see that in the export section. And then on the library, we have uh, some features to beautify your maps. You can add, uh, well, not necessarily this, but any image that you want to add. And that's pretty much it. If you want to download this as a map, you could do that with download PNG and you will have like the image ready. You can post it uh, wherever you want. You can export this as a SVG as well. Uh, if you want to edit it on custom uh, softwares and there are other cool features, but I think it will get too long if I sit and explain everything. For example, there's a cool feature where the text gets auto uh, sort of colored. And so there are a lot of smart features that I've built into it. I can't wait for you to try it and uh, give me feedback. My goal is uh, for anyone from class four to like a PhD student to derive value from this product. So let's create something interesting for India. All right, I will see you in subsequent videos like this, which I'll send you over email and uh, we'll be in touch through our Twitter community. So if you haven't joined our Twitter community yet, the link is also posted somewhere. All right, see you. Bye-bye.